In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, one true God. Amen. Hello everyone, my name is Sam Joseph. I live in San Francisco and I'm originally from St. Thomas Cathedral, Mandalore. The Feast of St. Basilio Sieldo falls this week on the church calendar. Let's learn more about him in this, ep in this episode of Urho's Walking the Way with Saints. Who was more Basilio Sieldo? Basilio Sieldo was the Mafrian or the Catholicos of the church. As we know, Mafrian or Catholicos is second in line in the church hierarchy after the Patriarch. He came to Malangara or Kerala, India in 17th century to keep the Syriac Orthodox faith alive. And that is what makes him special and that's his most glorious contribution uh, to the church. And he's entombed at Kormangala Martom in Cheriapalli and this is a picture of the church and the one on the, on the right is the picture of his tomb in Kormangalam. We don't have an accurate photograph or an icon of him. Now, to understand or to understand or to appreciate the greatness of what he did, we need to appreciate, we need to understand the situation in the Malangara church in the 1600s. 1600s were characterized by the cruel and brutal persecution of Syria Christians by Roman Catholics. These were Portuguese colonizers who came to India uh, a few a few decades ago, and they were imposing the Portuguese were imposing their Roman Catholic faith on the Syria Christians in Malangara. And it reached an extreme when Mohatala, who was, was a bishop sent from the Patriarchate, was assassinated by the Portuguese army. He was killed and drowned in the ocean by uh, by Portuguese by the Portuguese. And this was obviously a sad and an angry moment for Syria Christians who gathered at, at, at Matanjeri church and did what is today known as the Kun and Cross Oath. They tied a rope around a stone cross and took a pledge saying that they and their future generations would never forget the Syriac Orthodox throne of Antioch and would forever remain allegiant to that. And then, uh, then came more Gregorius Abdul Jalil, who was the Bishop of Jerusalem, who came to Malangara and completely revamped and rejuvenated the Syriac Orthodox faith. And he passed away a few years later in 1671 and he sent him to the North Paravur Church. But his demise created a vacuum in the church. There were no bishops and there was a threat that apostolic succession, succession would be discontinued. And the Patriarch at that time, uh, Abdul Masayah I, discussed this situation in Malangara with other bishops at the Patriarchate and more Basilio Seldo, who was a Mafrian at that time and who was also about 90 years of age, gladly volunteered to come to, to go to Malangara and to ensure that apostolic succession continues in Malangara. He relinquishes administrative charges at the Mafrianate and it's worth mentioning here that the Mafrianate at that time was at the daira of Mor Matai and we studied about Mor Matai in a previous episode of Walking the Way with Saints. And he started, and after relinquishing his admin, uh, administrative charges at the Mafrianate, he started a treacherous journey to India. And you can imagine this is 1600s, and this Mafrianate was in Mosul, Iraq, and he had to come all the way to Kerala, India. And he, along with a monk and few others, including his brother, started from Basra, which is a port city in Iraq, set out on a ship to India and they first landed at this port city called Surat which is in modern western India and then went on another ship to come to Kerala which is in the southwest coast obviously and they landed at a place called Talasheri in the northern part of Kerala and because majority of Kerala was under the Portuguese rule they could not travel on normal roads they had to hide themselves from the Portuguese and Basilio Seldo and his companions traveled through dense forests, forests like these, for many days uh, before reaching Kolomangalam Church. And once they reached Kolomangalam Church, uh, well, the first thing that he did was to ordain the, the monk who accompanied him, or whose name was Hidayatullah, as a metropolitan by the name Morivanius Hidayatullah. And uh, Morivanius Hidayatullah 
later went on to do so many great things to, rem to keep the Malangara church in the true faith. Unfortunately, Mo Basilio Seldo did not live long after that. He, he ended heavenly rest just a few days after reaching, reaching Kolamangalam and he passed away on roughly October 2nd uh, in mod the modern calendar. And when he passed away, the stone cross in front of the church, which is shown in this picture, lit up, uh, a glorious light came upon it by, uh, by a miracle. And even, even though he spent only a few days in Kolamangalam, so many miracles happened in those days, and even in the days in which he was traveling through forests, there are many stories, there are many incidents that are uh, that's famous. Those are famous in Kerala, where he encountered different people during his way through the forest, and so many miracles happened during those encounters. But anyway, he spent uh, only a few days in the Malangara soil, but he he radically changed uh, and, and and rejuvenated the church by his presence. Let's see how. Uh, his memory lives on today in various forms. The first, of course, is that Syriac Orthodox faith still continues in its full energy in Malangara. And Kodamagalam Church today is a big church, a big pilgrim center where millions of people come every year. And the names Basil and Yeldo, anyone familiar with the Malangara community would know at least a few people with the names either Basil or Yeldo. Both those names obviously come from more Basilios, Basil from Basilios and Yeldo being Yeldo. And coincidentally, I just talked to someone with the name Basil just before recording this. And we also remember more Basilios Yeldo in the fifth Tubdin. And above all, the tomb of more Basilios Yeldo at Kormangram Church is an everlasting symbol of the Antioch Malangara bond. The 2000 year old relationship between the Malangara Church and the Syriac Orthodox faith in Antioch. The reason being, even if all believers are wiped out from, from Malangara, his tomb there is still an evidence that the Syriac Orthodox faith was practiced in Malangara and there was a connection with the Patriarch of Antioch for many and many centuries. And this is especially relevant today because the church is facing yet another crisis, yet another struggle where churches are being lost, including the church uh, including the church of Kodamangalam, church of Kodamangalam which is being threatened uh, to be lost. And in this scenario, last year on October 6, 2019, uh, faithful across Malangara gathered at the Kodamangalam church in front of the stone cross which lit up when Mordasalya Selva passed away and did what's called a second Kodan cross or they tied a rope around the, around the cross as you could see in this video and then took a pledge that they would remain in the Syriac, they and their future generations would remain in the Syriac Orthodox faith. And so, with all this, what can we learn from the life of Mordas Elio Seldo? The most important thing is that a true leader emulates Christ's words. Jesus Christ said, I'm the true, I'm the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sake of his flock. And this is exactly what Mordas Elio Seldo did. He knew that his sheep, uh, his spiritual children in Malagra were suffering and he volunteered to come from Mosul, Iraq to, to, to Malankara to ensure that the true faith continues uh, in its pristine, genuine, authentic form. And th this is the same love that Christ or God has towards his sheep, just like that the spiritual father Mobaselius had that love for his spiritual children in Malankara. And this also shows that we remain in true faith today because of selfless sacrifice of so many church fathers like Mo Baselio Seldo, because he could have uh, he could have he could have uh, done it he could have lived a nice end of life in Mosul uh, with all comforts, but he came all the way to Malangara to ensure that the light the true faith remains pristine in the Malangara on the Malangara soil, and uh, which means that true faith continues forever even during severe persecution, even during persecution of the Portuguese 400 years ago, even during the persecution the church faces today by the grace of God. This is the true church, true faith, which is sustained by God. Uh, thank you very much. And these were some of the references that I used. And let the, let, may the intercession of Mord Baselio Seldo be a fortress for us and for the Holy Church in these tough times. Thank you very much. Swargiya tadende wal selly nidhiyam Suriyani sabhayude sreshta jarin 
സ്വർഗീയതാദന്റെ വാത്സല്യ നിധിയാ സുറിയാനി സഭയുടെ ശ്രേഷ്ഠാചാര്യൻ മലയാള മണ്ണിൽ വിശ്വാസനാളമായി കടൽ കടന്നെഴും നള്ളിയ പുണ്യഭാവ മലയാള മണ്ണിൽ വിശ്വാസനാളമായി കടൽ കടന്നെഴും നള്ളിയ പുണ്യഭാവ ിൽ വന്നയും നിന്മക്കഴിക്കാ 